Yo, what's happening guys? DDBR89 here, back again with some more Dragon Ball Legends news, hint tips and information. And guys, this video is on the back of Reveal and Stuff. Now, if you do not know where that is, then you obviously haven't been playing the game. Reveal and Stuff was the video revealing everything that we need to know for the second anniversary. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pretty much summarize everything through images that we got from that video. And guys, some of this information is very, very, very tasty for us all. Now, this art here is the end art of that whole video. Looks amazing, so I thought I'd stick it up there for you lot. So we're going to go through them, and I'm just going to summarize what actually happened on that video. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you do hit that sub button. Also, make sure you drop a like for the video and stay watching through the whole thing, because you might miss something out. But we're going to start off. So the first things first is... We are going to be getting some daily free consecutive summons. So I did say this before on my uh, prediction of what's going to happen. And most of the stuff I predicted actually came quite through. And there's a video on my channel. So if you want to see that, make sure you do look at that. So we are getting some daily free uh, consecutive summons. And these are some of the characters that we are being able to summon for on this one. So it's going from Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Super Saiyan Blue, of course, Goku and Vegeta respectively. Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Uh, the, of course, transforming Gogeta. Uh, Goku Black, we got Gohan, uh, we got a, basically a beast, a plethora of super powerful characters. They even call them, you can acquire powerful new characters. So these are on your free summons that you can get. Next one we're going to talk about is the login bonus. Now the login bonus is here and with the login bonus we can also get tickets as well of it. So we are going to be getting chronos, energy tickets and of course... Um, stuff to buff your characters up so just increase the levels and whatnot so equipment uh, not equipment but something else like that the bells there as you can see i'm getting tongue-tied because some of this information like i said is very very tasty the next thing is we have missions guys everyone loves the missions normally you have to do the missions via the adventures but make sure you check out your missions because if you clear them all there's a mission part where you clear them all for the second anniversary to get yourself a thousand extra chronos okay guys We've also got the recurring ele um, uh, events, which is the Rising Battle of Broly, the Rising Battle where you can, of course, get the Captain Ginyu in Goku's body, and, of course, the Vegito in base form. Now, these are characters, mainly they brought them back, so if you haven't managed to 7-star them, or at least red 7-star them, you've got the opportunity to do that now, and they are brought them back for new players for the game, so if they never had the opportunity to get them, so they are there now for you. The next thing we're going to talk about is the power up campaign. So once again, another way to increase your Zenny, your XP, all the training stuff have been halved. So you've got a better opportunity to, of course, uh, make your character the best they can be to level them up. Okay, so you got that there. The next thing, of course, is the Super Scout battles are back. They've been away for a hot minute, so you've got an opportunity to get the powerful characters such as Beerus, Whis, uh, Trunks, and uh, who else is there? You've got quite a few of the characters, but they're there for you to actually grab them now. So they're going to be there for you on the second anniversary. There's a lot of stuff to intake and they have put a lot of stuff. So this anniversary is going to last quite a long time for you to actually try and dabble in everything. I'm going to try my best. Now, the next thing we've got is another event, and that is the overhaul of the Legend Road. The same thing they've done with the Kid Goku, where they made him... We gave us the ability to actually 7 star or red 7 star him. But not only have they done that, they've gone down the same route and they've made him Zenkai. So we're going to have to be able to Zenkai him. Just make sure you get him to 7 stars. Zenkai him and most likely in the co-op mode where you'll be able to get him. And we'll probably be able to do a summoning thing like we did with, of course, the kid Goku. So Zenkai uh, Team Trunks, Transforming Team Trunks is there as well, which is great. We have, of course, the Challenge Rush, the second anniversary Challenge Rush, where if you complete it, and the stages, there's six stages, and they're going to be even more difficult. They said, even in the video, you will need to practice to get, beat these ones for a thousand chronos, guys. So, don't, guys, the ones who love to do these Challenge Rushes, <laughs> that is there for you, guys. A thousand chronos, easy peasy for you. Just make sure you've got a decent team. Now, they brought something else in, which is called a chance time. Now, with this one, is a test in your luck. It is sort of a raffle where you'll be able to get these type of tickets. There's also platinum tickets, which you can get with your daily logins, your um, 
co-op battles and missions etc like that so look around there for them i'm going to go into more detail in individual things as we go along uh, in future videos so guys once again if you're new to the channel hit that sub button notification bells on because it's going to be broken down a lot more but this is just the be all end all an overwhelming lot of information so we got these tickets and what you'll be able to do is use them to raffle them off it even says here to get the pink ones clear ust rush or co-op to receive the one the chance time rush uh chance time ticket sorry and then you can get the purpley ones from summoning and login bonuses which is a platinum chance which is a better chance for you to actually get uh the prizes and the prizes can contain anything up to 10,000 chrono crystals and more guys 10,000 chrono crystals imagine getting that imagine getting 10,000 chrono crystals after you've been smashing out the whole of this thing the whole way you've been saving chronos and you manage to get a ticket that gives you 10,000 chrono crystals i would probably start crying because just the luck there that's my luck done the summons would probably be pointless next thing they are bringing the second anniversary medals which you can use to trade for once again more tickets and or sleeves okay you got these sleeves for your cards and these are shenron sleeves shenron sleeves which are going to be there with that we have the uh, sns which is a social network um campaign where we have to do a 10,000 posts in one hour so you need to check your post uh, the of course official post pages for these events such as of course db underscore legends on twitter and there are different categories there's a blue category which is the english twitter and english facebook and then you've got the red team which is the twitter facebook uh twitter for japan japan facebook for china and the neva Claf for korea haven't got a clue what that is but yeah in an hour all the, it's all around the world Ten thousand retweets slash uh shares through around the social media and they will give us prizes for that as well which is a nice little bonus the next thing is about the ar cam so we did get that camera thing and this is basically like a russian rule no russian roulette but a roulette you click on it and it brings up what type of character you are so it get, tells you what character you are or gives you a random generated character by tapping it and you get a spark in i don't know you might be goku you might be beerish you might be whoever but you get that there so it's a nice thing to test out to see who your favorite character is and who they think you are more like next thing guys yes i did make a video about this a couple of weeks ago yes it is back they have brought back shenron they have got new wishes they didn't tell us what the new wishes were but he is back with a vengeance we have to collect those again so guys once again if you're new to the channel make sure you are subbed because we are going to be going to help you get these qr codes in a live stream yes i'm going to be live streaming it so make sure you do join in we're going to be sharing them they'll most likely do the same strategy as last year where they give you um three to four chances throughout the day to get these uh, qr codes and pretty much try to share them between each other you only have five minutes to get them last time which was a p take but it is what it is something that might not be important but it's important to some we have new special design backgrounds uh, as well as uh, background music which is going to be uh, on the official website so check that out if you like if you're into that sort of thing not really really important but they do like to bring those for people we have special events now guys this is an entire world special event where we'll be in the co-op battle where we all will fight against one character uh, be it who it is and we have to chip away at their health so we might not be all fighting at the same time but we will be fighting and you'll be seeing the health drop as it goes along around the whole world so we have this special cooperative battle which is called uh, clash bonds transcending time and space once again when we get into that uh, closer to the day i'll go into more detail more details we go along so guys we are on to the major part of this video the major part the one that everyone wanted to know what characters are available what characters are we going to be able to summon for and the first one that we're going to look at is super saiyan trunks teen i don't know why he's teen he's not really a teen in the future but rage is here rage so that is pretty much like the demigod of super saiyans now we can check his information out so he's going to be a yellow type hybrid saiyan super saiyan future vegeta family family reduces damage sustains when on the field and oh, uh, cover cuts heals uh, with quirk skill reduces character switch cooldown when opponent actives a rising rush 
increases effectiveness against characters with the tag God Key and Regeneration. So pretty much he's going to be a beast against anyone like Zamasu and or Goku Black or anyone with Ren uh, Regeneration and or God Key. Uh, truly a defensive character with the new sort of power. So that is one character we're getting. Just another quick look at him. That is the Rage Super Saiyan Team Drugs. When we get closer to the banner, we will be talking about him in more detail. The next bad boy we're talking about, and I did say his name, but I didn't say his proper one, is Merge Zumasu. So it's Fused Fusion Zumasu. Now, look at that. That image for him is beastly. Uh, I, by my, He's my favorite by far, so far, looking at these two. He'll be the one that I'll be going for. There's probably going to be a dual banner. And as you can see, he is a purple type character. Type God Key Future Regeneration Fuse Warrior Potara Powerful Opponent. So that's that new tag we've got. The Powerful Opponents gains multiple buffs as battle prolongs. So he's going to be a character for the long haul. Gains multiple buffs as enemy attacks after enemy attacks. So he's going to get. He's going to be a beast. Decreases enemy key and gains more buffs with Quirk Skill. Pushes enemy away and cover cuts enemy strike attacks. Shows true power the longer the battle lasts with his buff. So he's going to be an amazing... Oh my god. He is going to be so OP. OP, brothers. I'm telling you. But once again, another look at this artwork for him. <sighs> Tasty. Not going to lie. Now, that was from Super. Now we're going to go on to GT, my friends. And we have Omega Shenron. He is dropping in. We only got recently the Shenron about a few weeks ago. Maybe a couple of months ago. I don't remember now, guys. But he has popped in. And we're going to look at his stats. So he's going to be a red type. Shadow Dragon, GT, Regeneration, Absorption, Fused, Fusion, Warrior, Powerful Opponent. Damage dealer XC excels in both strike and blast. Increased damage inflicted and reduces damage sustained by being on the field. Inflicts multiple stats alignments on art card hits. Increased allies ultimate attack damage on special moves. Oh my god, he's going to be a beast. Especially powerful on teams with multiple ultimate attacks. So... He is going to be a beast again, but I'm still liking the way the Merge Fusion Samasu is. But once again, here is his artwork. It does look nice though, I'm not going to lie. They could have uh, teed him up a little bit compared to his counterpart. But now we're going to go on to one of the other beasts. And that is another one from GT. Super Full Powered, or Super Full Power, Super Saiyan for Goku. Beast, that artwork looks amazing. Really surprised. They threw us left field with this character. I didn't expect him, to be honest. And here we go. He is a green type character. Uh, Saiyan, Super Saiyan for GT and Sun Family. Main damage source is Blast Attacks. When using Blast Attacks, it gains multiple buffs. Whew, loved to hearing that. Multiple buffs, man. Him and Zamasu would be a beast. Uh, increased defensive when paired with other Saiyan characters in the party. Heals when ultimate attacks lands. Oh my god. Uh... Balanced and built for a combat. So he's balanced character and he's built for a combat. He is the one that you're going to use when all odds are against you. Especially when he heals when his ultimate attack lands. That that just seems like he's the one. And once again, we're going to look at his amazing, amazing artwork. I do like that one though. I'm not going to lie. And guys, we're going to go on to the last one. Boom! I didn't even want to um, make this more immense. Here we are. We have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, Blue. Finally, finally, guys, we've been waiting a long time for this character to drop for us. And he is finally here. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, information on him as of yet. But once again, once we get closer to it, I will bring it to you. Look at that artwork for him. He is amazing. I reckon he's going to be the um, same sort of character that the LF or the Legendary Finish yeah, or the Legends Limited Super Vegito was. He's going to be on both banners. And he is going to be the one that everyone's going to be trying to pull. If you have seen the reveal and stuff video for him, he is a tank. He looks like a beast. One of them. And you have to watch the whole video to see it. But, guys, that is it for me today. Let me know if you want to see anything else in the future. And make sure you are sub to the channel. But, guys, that is all the information I have for you. Like always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more in the future. And until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.